on Daybreak, we're taking you inside one of the most dangerous situations that a firefighter can face. About 3,000 people die every single year in house fires, and when the flames are in the basement of a home, it puts firefighters at an even higher risk. So Nina Criscolo suited up with the Washington Township Avon Fire Department to see how they're training to better attack these basement fires. Their job's already dangerous. Right. And it just gets more dangerous. Exactly. This is really scary stuff. A basement fire compromising the floor where firefighters are walking to get into a building. Here's video from just last year when an Indianapolis firefighter fell through this hole during a basement fire at a house on Vermont Street. So departments from all over central Indiana teamed up in Avon to try out a technique from Sweden that could help save people inside and protect firefighters responding to the blaze. Go for control. When we're called, it's obviously the person's worst situation. But it's this. A fire in the basement that is often a worst situation for firefighters. It's one of the few times that we're actually operating above the fire. Basement fires have a tendency to have a high heat rate and it's difficult for the firefighters to find a stairwell to get down in there because a lot of the smoke and the heat products coming up out of the stairwell. These flames are part of a training exercise at a vacant property in Avon. But the challenges are real. The deteriorating building, the danger, and definitely the heat. I know because this is my viewpoint in the fire with the crews. The temperature was right out 900 to 1,000 degrees for the entire uh, time that they were coming in. Normally, those 1,000 degree temperatures would be damaging the home for more than 10 minutes before firefighters could begin the battle. You know, that takes some time to get your line all uh, connected up, get your hose charged, find the fire, um, and getting to it. With all that time, you're uh, creating more hazards potentially for uh, the firefighters going in. So today, firefighters are using a fog nail, which is a type of piercing nozzle for a faster fight. And it basically is a, like a sprinkler. So they shove it in, turn it on, and let it operate while they're pulling off their hose lines and then going in tier. It just took away the heat and the rain droplets and everything, the mist that created, took care of the fire. Within seconds, the 1,000 degree temperature dropped to right around 100, a safer environment for both the victims inside and firefighters. Not having that temperature that high um, and uh, taking down uh, the flames is definitely going to make it so it's a lot easier for the firefighters coming in with a hand line uh, to finish putting it out. The fog nail does cause a lot of smoke, which decreases visibility. I could barely see in front of me. You good, Nina? You ready to go out? And that's when I was led out of the home by a firefighter. Girls clear on the basement fire with the attack. But for the crew's training, this Swedish technique opens up options for future fights. I don't think we're seeing what benefits it has. It's definitely a tool for the toolbox. And while the firefighters at this training exercise did favor the scenario with the fog nail, this isn't something the departments can implement immediately. I'm told by the chiefs of training that the departments would have to budget for the equipment, make protocol changes, and do additional training before the fog nail could be put into use.